All right, in this video today, let's go over how the exchange work. So if you, 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 you unlock exchange at level 30, and once you get exchange, this is all player run. So every item here is either crafted by a player or obtained by a player. So it's super nice. It's a player run economy. So let's go over some of the basics, right? So obviously you can sell stuff in here as well. So for example, if I were to put in my fish, my cut last fish here as you can tell there's two options here one is the exchange registration status if you click on this it'll tell you all the current uh cut last fish within the exchange and the pricing but currently there is none if there is none then usually that means that you can register to exchange and you can place it on max price since you are the only one with this fish on exchange therefore you can try to place it for max price see if someone is willing to buy it but let me show you one where this one this one right so See right here it tells me that uh there are two other um two other sellers of this item and these are the selling price 524k and 974k that means that if i were to go sell mines i can put mines onto the min just because i know that there is a guy that is already selling on min and is not being and there's also a uh the other seller was selling on max price right so do keep it in mind so you, you do want to uh, switch uh, switch up your price. You can adjust your price with these two arrows here. And then just go straight to max or go straight to min. Those are the basics of how to sell on exchange. And then purchasing is very simple. All you have to do... Okay, purchasing one is, is, is actually the one that most people is confused with, right? So let's take an example. Let's go to the most popular item right now in NA1, which is... Condensed lightning right here so if you see this one here uh two uh two condensed lightning is for selling for 468,000, and there's eight bidders on it if i were to bid right now on this this will make a nine that means that uh who, who whenever this bid end one uh one of us out of nine people here is going to get the item it's all random you can't pay you, you can't bid more you can't pay more to get this item this is all random so so uh one out of the nine guys here is going to get this item on a random uh on a random basis right so do, do keep in mind there's nothing that you can do you can't bid more money you can't cancel your bid and rebid that's not going to increase your chance no the one thing that the exchange does not tell you is the time left on this item so the, the only way to know when time left the time left on this item is if you're the first one to purchase uh if, if you're the first one to bid on this item so whoever first bid on an item it goes into a three hour countdown and from that point on when that three hour ends one one lucky bidder is going to get the item and you will get your money and the and the seller is going to get the money right then the buyer is going to get the item and if you don't get the item you get a refund so you can check here uh click down here this is your bidding status right here if you click down here, you can check out all your current bids. And if you get the item uh, after the time, this will tell you, this will say accept item or receive item. And if you didn't get it, which I mean, understandable, <laughs> it's all nine bidders, right? So chances are pretty low. Then then this will just say a refund bid, which will give you your thing, right? But since again, I'm not I'm not wasting my money on this lighting. And if, so if you bid on the wrong item, like 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 me for example i just bid on condensed lightning here for two of them and i don't really want it so guess what i can just cancel my bid and i get my full refund back boom so it's very easy uh for for uh, buyers because if we buy the wrong item we can always cancel and opt out but for sellers it's a bit more uh challenging once you once you sell an item like currently i have my ring in for selling for 38 million once you sell once there is a bidder on it you can't cancel it after an item is, re is registered for sale it can't be canceled with uh it can't be canceled when there's a bidder so if you are a seller in the in the item exchange market make sure that you you, you uh, be careful because if you put an item in here and someone bids on it you can't take it back don't be a fuck up like me i fucked up right check out my ring this is my actual ring i sold i don't Okay, I thought that I can cancel this ring and get my ring back because uh, Car uh, Carolyn, um, a player for Superior, put her ring on sale. I mean, no, it's, it's, I, I think it's he, but anyways. Yeah, so she put her ring on sale, right? 
and her ring was super good her ring has crit damage crit uh crit rate plus five percent the legendary one and then physical attack plus four percent along with uh, attack speed she had the perfect ring but uh she just got a tier four that is why she was selling it on the market for for the max price and i thought that i i thought that that i can um i mean if i were to win the ring right then i won't need this one anymore so i put this one in market because i thought that i can cancel it i can cancel it if i don't want to sell it right but that was the biggest mistake of my life i so <laughs> someone bid on my ring and i can't cancel anymore so now i'm screwed because i wasn't lucky enough there was 10 bidders so i wasn't lucky enough to get uh her ring and now my ring sold and i'm now i'm left with nothing now i'm left with no rings so it's very risky very risky so if you are a seller make sure you only sell items you actually want to sell don't be a troll like me so keep that in mind also uh there is slots right so when you first do the market i believe the slot was five you, you get five slots so you can sell five items and then there is the, the registration here that means that you can expand your slot up to i don't know i think it's up to 10. i don't really want to go that far because i don't sell that much so I got up to nine. Nine wasn't that bad. It was pretty cheap. Before I just got nine because I was selling a lot of items before. But you shouldn't eat too much. And do keep in mind your daily sale remains is eleven out of fifteen. Uh, this isn't completely true. I feel like that um every day this will this will increase by like six six or eight I think. But I don't know the exact number. But every day you can only sell a certain amount of items. So do keep that in mind. Uh, what else is there within the exchange? Oh yes. The exchange market has its own uh, system that it adjusts price depending on um, supply and demand. So I'll give you guys a quick economics lesson for free. So there's four things that you guys have to understand in order to make money on the item exchange. First thing, supply, demand, surplus, and a shortage. These are four keys that you guys should know. And if you guys under can understand these four terms, then you guys can understand the market and start to make money like me so for example right let's, let's take a look at condensed lightning right condensed lightning what do we see here we see a shortage of supplies because check it out there is seven to eight bidders on every single condensed lightning and these guys are selling for max price as well that means that a condensed lightning has a really high value and therefore us uh, there is there is more demand than there is supply so that creates a, sh a shortage on condensed lightning therefore if you're smart you would go and farm condensed lightning because you can sell it at the max price right now for 234k a piece there's going to be people that's going to buy it because there is a shortage so that is so this tells you that you should go farm like me for example right i'm farming in the uh condensed lightning place the thunderous hi highlands for condensed lightning and if you can check what i have i have two right now in my bag but let me go to my buddy do i have here items let me put my condensed lightning back into my bag and let's go find it where is it i have 67 condensed lightning i, I was able to attain 67 condensed lightning for farming in this place for three days so actually let me just just switch over to something just to show you guys so if i go to exchange and i would go to here others 67 sell for max price i guarantee you this, this will sell for max price. i mean it's in a one I can't I just made 15.6 million and I'll tax 30% this is probably this is going to take me down to 10 million but still that's still a lot of money but then again I'm not selling it because I need this for crafting for my own crafting therefore I'm not selling it but yeah just understand the market right so then another another thing is let's take a look at an example of a uh surplus a surplus is when is when the demand the demand is when supply is higher than demand that will create a surplus and if there's an item on surplus that means that you shouldn't farm it and you shouldn't put that put that item in the market anymore because if you were put that item in the market the price is going to decrease for it so if we do not want that so let's take a look one surplus i think because this ice was a pretty good one here yeah see see you see this this number right here tells you tells you the um how many sellers there is there's four sellers that's selling this uh condensed lightning two for fire four for poison and condensed ice there's 18. so let's take a look at 18. so the thing is that they are getting bought kind of for like a cheaper price is because of the issue right 
Look at like how many look at how many condensed ice there is. There is so many condensed ice. So like there's no buyers. So that means that the supply is higher than demand. Therefore, this creates a a, um, a surplus. A surplus is not good. A surplus would drive price down, like this one. Five condensed uh, ice would normally go for one point. Uh, if it were sell for max, like condensed lightning, this would have been like easily easily over one mil. But as you can, uh, but as you can tell, this seller here is forced to sell it on low price because I guess he he needs the money. Therefore, he's selling it for really cheap. He's selling just for minimum price, which is like a hundred. It's like hundred and twenty k a piece, I think. Yeah, but it's like that. So like. You shouldn't farm condensed ice. Like, take a look into the market to understand what you're farming. Since there is a surplus of condensed ice, why is people, why do people keep farming it? Like this, right? Like, it's not smart to farm condensed ice if you know that there's a surplus. So every day we, when you wake up in the morning, you should always check the market and check out the uh, how many supply there is. Check out the the current state of the market, right? That makes sense. Like, like I woke up today, and of course it's bugged. So let me just wait. Uh, I'm just relog. There we go. So I woke up today, and I and the first thing I do is check my condensed lightning stocks, right? And boom, just be like, okay. So if you look at this, obviously, um, I explained this already. The condensed lightning, the market looks good for it. If I were to put 100, it's going to be bought out. Someone's going to buy it, and I know that for a fact because you can tell by the supply and demand here. There's a shortage, right? So, I mean, this applies for anything you're selling, right? So. Another great example is this uh, tier three, tier three weapon, right? That I have right here that I obtained from farming here. I was pretty lucky. It's my first tier three weapon, but I put in a cell, right? So we can find a weapon here. I think it's a blunt weapon, right? Right here. I'm currently the only seller, but there's another guy that was selling the same, uh, same weapon as me. If you, if I'm the only seller, normally you can place this, you can place this on a high, on a higher price, closer to max, but it's because it's a, it's a dual a uh, dole i mean dole means that this is a weaker version of this weapon therefore uh this it's for um not that many people's gonna buy it and also the fact that it is a two-handed uh blunt weapon so there isn't that many of that class right now in my server therefore it's not selling that well therefore i'm selling this on mint right so do try to understand uh the current state of the market to adjust your prices and stuff like that uh what else is there refresh doesn't do anything here Oh, you can also check every single item in, uh, in this game that can be sold by, for example, right? Let's go check out Dagger. If we go to Dagger and you see this button right here, view registered items only. If you uncheck it, this will show you every single Dagger that, that you can buy within the market, right? Like this one, pretty nuts. It's a tier five Dagger and boom, boom. Stats are good, amazing stats, amazing special options here. Tax speed's good. If we take a look at this, three max price is 3.2 billion dollars like dude trust me uh, the market here is pretty insane for late game obviously right now i'm poor i can't afford this right but this is very very late game it probably even be rare to even see one of these in the market but again this is totally possible this is all late game stuff so do do keep it in mind so you can always browser you can al always browser the collections to see maybe there is something you want you want to look forward to so you know just keep in mind you, know, you can see every single item that can be sold on the exchange here so something to look out for uh what else we have here i think that's it honestly this, this is everything about the exchange market here so uh if you have any more questions about the exchange leave in a comment below and i'll answer it as long as leaving a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video peace